Reports are stating that Tottenham Hotspur Football Club are in talks with Google about a possible naming rights deal and the Harry Kane Foundation has just been launched on World Mental Health Day. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. This is another episode of Tottenham News where I began through all of the latest Spurs news, rumours and reports. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like and share. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Let's start with a big story this morning, and this has been published virtually everywhere this morning. This one is from the Daily Mail, and they are stating that Spurs are in talks with Google over naming rights deal for £1 billion at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium as the club seeks to earn additional revenue to boost progress on the pitch under Antonio Conte. Tottenham Hotspur are reportedly in talks with Google over naming rights for their stadium. Chairman Daniel Levy has long been interested in securing a title sponsor of the 62,850 capacity Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, which cost around £1 billion and opened back in 2019. Daniel Levy said that year that the club were looking at a naming rights deal for the stadium built on the grounds of the old White Hart Lane with the right brand on the right money. The club have since been unable to strike such a deal, but The Athletic have stated this morning that Spurs have held discussions with Google, one of the most famous companies in the world, regarding a potential agreement. Spurs are looking to become the latest high-profile Premier League side to sign an agreement with a title sponsor for their stadium, joining the likes of Arsenal and Manchester City. Their stadium has already hosted NFL matches, including Sunday's game between the New York Giants and the Green Bay Packers, the Challenge Cup final, uh, world title fights in boxing and concerts since it was opened three years ago. It is widely regarded as the most state-of-the-art ground in the Premier League and is therefore a valuable asset for a company to sponsor. A possible deal with Google would add further financial weight to Spurs, who have the fifth-best annual turnover in the league, bolstered by qualification for the Champions League. Manager Antonio Conte made it clear that his side need further investment if they are to challenge for major honours, and revenue generated by a stadium rights deal could see him get his wish. Google have made inroads into sport in recent years, signing a multi-year agreement with the McLaren uh, Racing Formula One team in March. The American technology company has also uh, commercial deals with NBA and MLB in the United States. The Daily Mail also revealed last week that Spurs are planning a multi-million pound pitch upgrade on their attractable pitch. The Tottenham Hotspur Stadium is the only purpose-built NFL ground outside America with a state-of-the-art grass surface in three sections rolling back to reveal an artificial pitch used for NFL games. A report has just been published by the Evening Standard and they have stated that England captain Harry Kane has launched the foundation with the aim of changing perceptions of mental health. The Harry Kane Foundation will use the Tottenham Hotspur strikers high profile to help normalise conversations around mental health and promote positive habits that end stigma around the subject. Announced on the morning of Mental Health Day, Harry Kane, who has previously supported mental health charities through his shirt sponsorship at Leighton Orient, is fronting a number of initiatives and partnerships to highlight the cause. Harry Kane said, I'm delighted to launch my foundation today on World Mental Health Day. It marks the start of my journey to learn more about mental health and use my position, hopefully, to encourage others to look after their mental health, be their best and not be afraid to ask for help. Harry Kane then went on to say, while I'm far from an expert on the subject, I've learned that there is a growing number of people who need to learn positive coping strategies and build uh, resilience to deal with adversity. I'm excited to be working in support of some amazing organisations and causes close to my heart. Lastly, Harry Kane said, I'm enjoying working on all the activations that we are launching today and I'm looking forward to sharing other projects coming soon. 
Now a little bit more on Harry Kane. A report has just been published by the Evening Standard and they have stated that England captain Harry Kane will tell a tale about overcoming fear and finding your inner lion through self-belief when he sits down today to read a CBeebies bedtime story. The Tottenham Hotspur striker 29 is the latest famous face to sign up for the series and will read The Lion Inside, written by Rachel Bright and illustrated by Jim Field. The story follows a shy little mouse who sets out uh, on a journey to find his roar and uh, it is a book which Kane chose himself as he reads to his three children to remind them how even the smallest creatures can have the heart of a lion. So my thoughts on these stories in this episode, let's start with the uh, the naming rights deal or the possible naming rights deal with Google. Um, I'll tell you what, if this deal can come off, this would be absolutely fantastic for our football club. Um, I have been very lucky to be at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium for uh, most of the events, football, boxing, rugby, NFL, concerts, um, you know, other small events as well. And every single time that someone walks into our stadium, it's so nice to see their face because they are wowed. Um, a lot of them, I might add, that uh, I've seen going in aren't even Spurs fans. And they walk into that stadium and they were like, wow, this is incredible. And I still love to see people's faces as well uh, when they go in there for the very first time. Um, three and a half years um, since we moved in, in April uh, 2019, uh, when we played Crystal Palace. Uh, when, of course, we beat them 2-0 in the Premier League, Hun Min Son scoring that first goal. Um, one of my favourite events, actually, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium uh, was the Anthony Joshua fight against Uzik um, because I was actually um, ringside and when Anthony Joshua came out and the crowd went wild, um, to stand there and get that player's perspective of how that stadium is um, on a match day was simply incredible. It was it was really, really an incredible um uh, experience. And of course, earlier this year in May, I was very, very lucky to play at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium as well, which was an incredible experience. So, um, you know, I've been to the stadium a lot. I've seen um, all of the events and, you know, for a sponsor not to have uh, not to have come in yet after three and a half years, I am a little bit surprised. Um, yes, Spurs are probably asking a lot of money, um, but I think that the fans will be extremely pleased when this deal get, does get done uh, because I think a lot of money will then be available or made available to the likes of Fabio Prasci and Antonio Conte to then go and spend it on the pitch. I know a lot of fans have their reservations saying we don't think that that money will be spent. I do. I think that some of the money will be spent there. Um, probably not all of it, but even if it was half or even if it was a quarter, uh, the, the money that Spurs are asking and demanding for the naming rights, um, even if it was a small percentage, Antonio Conte and Fabio Prachi would have a lot of money to go and spend on the pitch, which would be an absolutely incredible thing for this football club going forward. Because let's face it, Antonio Conte has said many, many times, we need a number of transfer windows. Uh, you know, we need to spend more money and we need more players coming in. Of course we do. So if a deal like this does get done, it will be brilliant. And a little bit about Harry Kane. The guy is an absolute inspiration. He is always helping people, always helping mental health charities as well. Of course, sponsoring the Leighton Orient shirts for the last couple of years. Now launching his own foundation, which is absolutely brilliant. I hope everyone gets behind and supports. Of course they will. Um, also, I, I thought I'd better add that um, a couple of months ago, I went down to London and uh, saw the Harry Kane exhibition. Uh, if you haven't seen it, um, I think it's on until... Uh, the World Cup. I think it's on until the middle of November. So if you haven't seen it, go down and have a look. Uh, it's absolutely brilliant. Harry Kane's got all of his uh, awards there. He's got all of his match-worn shirts. He's got his, his, his back to his story. It's about growing up and about getting into football. And uh, it's a really, really good exhibition to go to. Uh, if you can't travel to go there, uh, then there is a video that I put together a couple of months ago. It is on this channel, so do check it out. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit that subscribe button, like and share. And if you're listening to this on an audio platform, please do hit that follow button and leave a review if you can. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.